Hello, this is Tai Yin for Gaslamp Media. In this video, we're going to show you how to create a web form. A web form is a Drupal module that allows you to create a customizable form for your users to fill out. So since it's a module, you need to enable it, which you can do by simply going to Administer and then going to your Modules area. So you'll see here that it's already been en enabled, so I can just go ahead and go back to where I was. When you enable it, it creates a content type called web form. So all you need to do is go to create content and select web form. Now there's a lot of features and things you can customize, uh, but for the most part you can leave it to the default. Um, in this example, we're going to create a contact form. So it's called contact. In the description, you can either provide instructions on how to fill out the form, or in our case here, since it's a contact page, you can include your address and phone number or best methods of contact. Uh, for now, let's just write a simple, please fill out the form. While you're here, you can also create a menu setting or menu item. Uh, we're going to call it a contact page, so let's call it contact us and we're going to put it under the primary links and so it should show up next to one of these items up here. Below that is a field for a confirmation message or a redirect URL. This is where you can enter a message for them to see after they've completed it or send them to a different page. Um, one or the other might be better for you depending on the purpose of your page here. Below that is the web form access control. Uh, this allows you to restrict the form to either anonymous users, authenticated users, or any other special type of roles that you've created. Below that you have the web form mail settings. This is the email to address, so this is where you want to send it to after someone has completed the form. In this case, let's call it info.gasantmedia.com. Below that you have the email from name. Uh, in this case, the gas lamp demo site, that's fine. Below that is email from address. You can leave it as the default, or you can have a custom from address for tracking or convenience, uh, whatever makes sense for you. And again, below that is an email subject. So in this case, since it's a contact form, it might be of interest to us, and maybe we can write something more exciting like new contact. Alright, so that's the first part. Let's just go down and click on Save. So now your form's been created, and you can start adding form elements to it. So let's just do the basics of name. Right next to that you have a couple of field options that you can choose. Uh, since this is a name, we can use a text field. And we probably want it mandatory. Let's click on Add. And it'll take you to another page where you can uh, complete more specific information. Uh, in our case here, we can leave everything to the default. So after that, let's add an email address. There's a special field for email address. What this does is it validates the email so that it checks that, it, that it's the proper email format. So for example, this prevents uh, the user from submitting email addresses with uh, invalid characters or spaces or other things that aren't allowed. In the description here you can also uh, give more detailed instructions so perhaps for this one we'll say please enter your preferred email address. And then let's click submit. And just to keep it simple let's add a message and now we can use the text area field. So the text area creates uh, multiple lines for the user to fill out. This is more appropriate for longer types of messages. And let's click on add. And so here you can specify the height. Um, since we do want a bigger block for it, we can say uh, this box here is five rows high. And let's click on submit. So now that we've configured all of the forms or all the fields that you want to use for this form, all you need to do is click on publish 
and it becomes live. So let's go ahead and view this here. So let's enter a couple of simple uh, test information here. Let's enter my name, my email address, and a simple little message. And then I hit submit. So now that I've hit submit, this form sends me an email address, or sends me an email to the address I specified. But more importantly, it also keeps it in the database. So if you're logged in as the administrator, you can click on results and view who's actually filled out your form. And let's just click on the view link here. And you can see the exact information that was entered. So this is great for uh, if you ever lose your email address or if you ever lose any emails. And here you also see there's a couple other options. Uh, if you have a lot of entries, you can view it in a convenient table or you can also download it as a CSV or Excel format. So you can import it into a different database. And if for some reason you want to clear everything out, you just click on clear. And of course, it'll ask you for a confirmation. And that concludes our tutorial on how to create a web form.